Hello everyone, this video is going to go over how to plot multiple axes, so multiple y axes specifically. So we're, I'm just going to show how to do one on the left and one on the right uh, using what's called the add axis function, which isn't a built in function that's, that comes with MATLAB, it's actually available on the MATLAB central file exchange, so the link is shown here and I'll have it below the video. Um, if you just Google uh, MATLAB add axis, you can you can find it. And so we're just gonna I'm gonna explain how to use it quickly. We're just gonna start our script with a clear all close all CLC, three generated arrays uh, x y one and y two. So these are our two dependent variables. And so here's our plotting scheme to plot two dependent axes. So we start our figure. We have a hold on. We plot the first one. It's just like normal. Then instead of saying plot again, we're going to go add axis our two variables and we're going to call them black, black stars. We're going to label our x, we're going to label our y, and then we're going to use this add axis label. Uh, it's going to be the second label. You can actually use add axis label to do the first one as well if you want, but I didn't in this case. So the second label is, is y2. And then we're going to define our legend and turn hold off. So if we run this, we will get an output that looks like this, where we have y1 as our independent first independent variable on the left, y2 is our second independent variable on the right, and we have our two lines that are, are similar to each other in our, in our x-axis. So it's quite simple to do. It's 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 very handy. If you don't want to use uh, this script, you can also use plotyy, uh, which is a built-in MATLAB function, but I've never really used it or had much success with it, and people seem to complain that it's very hard to use, which is why this, this guy on, um, on the MathWorks Central Exchange wrote the add access files. So I usually copy them, so you want to, if you want to use them in this manner, so that this is a function, this is a function um, that, that you download. So you copy these M files directly into the directory that you're working with. If you don't want to do that, then you add the the location of the function in in this line. So you have to you have to give this a, a direction to go if you're not gonna. Or you can include it in your main function directory, but I've never really been big on that, so I, I always just copy it into the into the directory that I'm working with. So I end up with a lot of copies of this add access function on my computer, but it saves trouble and I don't have to worry about having it. If I move, want to run the script on another computer, I don't have to worry about having add access or the location of it on the new computer. It's all in the file that I'm working with, so I just copy the whole file and go about my business. So I hope you found this useful and have a good day.